Hello, this is uh, Professor Solange Martinez. I am the um, researcher and investigator that has been researching the trafficking of identities and government benefits for the last 18 years or so. Because of it, I have been falsely arrested, illegally incarcerated, and tortured in jail in the United States. And I, I am currently uh, calling uh, a hospital controlled by the organized crime where Christians, conservative Hispanic activists and other people have been discriminated against and denied medical care as a consequence of their activism against the trafficking of identities and government benefits. So uh, with that being said, let me call uh, this uh, hospital and ask uh, about what is happening in regards to the denial of medical care to Hispanic conservative Christian activism. The hospital's name is St. James. It is uh, located at upstate New York in uh, Hornell, New York. So I'm going to um, call to see what I can get, what information I can get. Good afternoon. May I speak to Miss uh, Beatty, Robin Beatty? Yes, this is her. How can I help you? Hi, this is Professor Solange Martinez. How are you? I'm good. How can I help you? Uh, good. Um, I am calling because I was waiting a call from you or from uh, your hospital, St. John's, uh, I mean, St. James, uh, in regards to the denial of medical care to a Hispanic conservative Christian activists uh, who denounce uh, trafficking of identities and government benefits. I was wondering uh, when um, you were going to get back to me because I spoke to... Well, I was told not to call you until this afternoon because um, it was stated to me that you were going to be out. Oh, yes, I just came back, yes. Okay. Um, so how can I help you? Well, I was denied medical care at the uh, St. Jo James... Uh, urgent care, and I was told uh, many untrue statements regarding um, the medical care being denied to me, the reasons why it was denied to me, and as you know, medical care denial um, is illegal in the United States, uh, especially you as a hospital uh, that take federal and state funds, you should not be denying anybody medical care, and much okay, less... What, what location did you go to? Uh, the Hornell location? At Express Care or the hospital? Express Care. And um, what day was this? Yesterday, the 29th of April, 2018, of, co of course. Okay. And you're, you're saying they, they denied you medical care? Yes, the problem is that uh, when I went um, the first time, they everything was okay, uh, and then I was followed by the organized crime members working for the SS and SSA who are uh, trafficking with uh, citizens' identities and government benefits and then assassinating them. And I have a program, a radio show, that uh, speaks about this and denounces this um, criminal behavior and as retaliation, they have gang stalkers uh, stalking me and my elderly, disabled, Hispanic, conservative uh, mother uh, every time we go to a doctor and tell them to deny us medical care. My mother currently is dying of cancer because of it. Uh, she has had two cancer operations and she also has epilepsy and other chronic illnesses, uh, physical illnesses. Uh, but anyways, uh, the gang stalkers that are following approximately... 50, uh, 50 million American citizens and legal residents in the United States due to the trafficking of the, their identities and government benefits. Uh, and according to my 18 years research, these um, 50 million American citizens approximately have been persecuted, hunted down, 
and many of them, according to the Inspector General's Office investigation, are uh, dead and they were assassinated because they are getting government benefits from the Social Security Administration Office. They're getting Social Security uh, benefits after they are 112 years old or older. There is, according to the Inspector General, 6.1 million American citizens getting Social Security benefits. And you and I know that we don't have 6.1 million American citizens who are 112 years old or older. But anyways, going back to the St. James uh, matter, I went there uh, the first time they gave me medical care because the organized crime members following uh, my mother and myself had not contacted them. Yesterday, um, they apparently had contacted them because I had a police, a police car uh, from the sheriff's office following us uh, the day before yesterday on Saturday. Uh, so when I went back yesterday with my elderly disabled mother, I was yelled at by Christine Dawson, the nurse. Um, she was very violent. I thought she was going to assault me, physically assault me. Uh, and she did not want to do anything. She didn't, she didn't want to have anything to do with me. She told me that she wasn't going to waste time on me or speaking to me. And I have an ocular witness that can attest to that. My elderly, disabled, chronically ill mother almost had an epileptic seizure. When I came out, her, head, her legs were shaking. I thought she was going to have an epileptic seizure because she was so scared. That woman, the nurse, was going to beat me up. Um, I kindly asked her um, why the, the um, nurse, uh, well, not the nurse, the assistant physician, physician uh, denied me medical care. And she said that she cannot uh, prescribe any medication that would um, eliminate my illness and that she cannot um, get, uh, write any prescription uh, on paper uh, because if she sent the prescription electronically to Wegmans, uh, I would not get the medication that uh, I need to get rid of my illness. So she cannot prescribe any medication that she uh, knows uh, is going to get rid of my illness. She cannot uh, give me a, a written prescription. Did she say why she couldn't? No, she, they didn't tell me why. They just told me that they, they couldn't. Just like the uh, hundreds of other doctors across the country that I have gone to that have been contacted after the first time that I go uh, to the doctor. The first time is, is uh, good, but the second time when they uh, have followed me uh, to the doctor's office, then the people, the medical staff uh, who receive um, payment or who receive salaries from the taxpayers' money refuse to give me medical care. So I was wondering what am I to do because I still have the urinary tract infection, the burning uh, infection, uh, sensation when I urinate and pain when I urinate and I cannot get the antibiotics because the antibiotics that um, the AP or the assistant uh, physician gave me are um, the worst kind at Wegmans uh, um, a pharmacy. And uh, when I asked for um, a prescription on paper so I can go to another pharmacy, she refused to give it to me. So she cannot, she cannot give me the, the prescription that works for me, another medication that would work for me, which is genetic, so my insurance can pay for it. And uh, she cannot give me the, uh, a prior authorization. She cannot do a prior authorization so I could get the brand name from Wegmans, uh, because that's the one that would work for me. So okay. what am I to do? So is the 347-721-9255 the best way to reach you? Yes, ma'am. I'm going to get in touch with um, the managers that we have on hand that are in charge of Express Care. I'm actually going to have one of them call you back so that we can get this sorted out. Okay, okay, yes, because I need medical care. I mean, I'm a USA citizen. Uh, if they want to see my passport, I can show it to them. Uh, even though they, they cannot deny medical care, even if I was an illegal alien, they couldn't do that. That's okay. against the law. And the manager's name is Amanda Kula, K-U-L-A. Uh, I'm very good friends with her. I, I oh, oh. I'm, I'm going to talk to her. Um, 
um, and I'm also going to speak with um, one of our providers that's in charge of um, all the doctors and the physicians that work down there. And we're, I'm going to see if I can get this sorted out. And um, we'll give you a call right now, okay? Okay, great. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. My pleasure. Bye-bye.